has filed for divorce from her husband, Michael Sterling. But it looks like he isn't ready to let that thing go just yet. Sterling has publicly responded to the filing with a statement writing in part, I am going to fight for her with every fiber of my being. As for Marcel, she has not said exactly what she wants to end or why she wants to end their five-year marriage. She's only described it as, quote, Irre irretrievably broken. That brings us to our guests, divorce attorney, Lanice Lewis and Dr. Angela Jones. And of course, this is Dr. Angela Jones' story. So we gave you top billing. <laughs> <laughs> Lanice is our guest tonight. Now, when you hear something like that, when someone just won't let go, mm -hmm. what, what can you do about that? It's, I think it is noble that he wants to fight for his marriage. Of course, all of us, nobody knows exactly Unless why. Unless he's screwed up. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's beautiful. He wants to fight for his marriage. He says he's going to fight for her with every fiber in his being. I think that's great because sometimes it does take just one very determined person to help the marriage get back together. But again, we are kind of in the dark in regards to why they are filing, for, why she filed for And that's very important, right? Absolutely, right? You know, if it's something like we, we continue to argue too much and we can't communicate well, well, that's something I feel like, okay, we, we can go to counseling, we could do something together to kind of figure out how we could communicate better. But if it's something like constant infidelity or financial infidelity, I mean, it just really depends on what happened at home and we really don't know. I mean, the fact that she's saying like no this is it. it it tells me there's something big and mm -hmm. the fact that he's like at the door scratching like a, a, a puppy like no I'm gonna fight for her mm -hmm. I don't know I don't know I mean I can't say it's her fault or his fault but fight on brother <laughs> <laughs> and divorce attorney Lanice Lewis once someone in that party files for divorce is it over or can you come back from that Sure, you could come back from it, but the person who filed is going to have to say that they want to come back right. from it. Mm -hmm. If you say you don't want the divorce, you want to work it out, but the other person says, nope, I want a divorce, you're going to get divorced eventually. You may <laughs> be able to drag it out for a while, right. but eventually you'll get a divorce. I deal with people who get divorces after a few months. Mm -hmm. You can get a divorce after 20, 30 years. They just wake up and decide, I don't want to be married to this person for whatever reason. I'm pretty sure, you know, things have happened over time. But that's the great thing about Texas. It's no fault. So one person just has to say, I don't want to be in this anymore. I've changed my mind. And ultimately, you're going to get divorced. And what have you seen from your experience? And, and just give us a ballpark number, the percentage of people who will change their mind on the average. So I would say for me, in, in my own personal experience, I've probably had less than 25% wow. of wow. the my clients or the other side deciding they want to reconcile. One party might decide they want to reconcile, but usually the other party is they've checked out and there's no coming back from it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, even as a counselor, when I have a couple come in and either they're going through a divorce or thinking about a divorce, the fact that they come to therapy to me is an indication that there's still some hope on the table, mm -hmm. right? right? They, there's still... But do you check and see which one may be pushing it? Oh, absolutely. I okay. mean, we usually know at the beginning, mm -hmm. like she filed for divorce mm -hmm. or he filed for divorce. Um, I know that immediately. But the fact that they're both there together trying to either talk through it or try to understand each other, to me, there's a higher level of hope there. So the fact that she is like 25% or less, that's because she's on the legal side. But when you come into my space and you're coming in as a couple, I feel like that percentage is much higher. Mm -hmm. When someone is done and there's nothing else, they're not going to go to counseling to try to figure something out. Mm -hmm. They just won't. Um, I mean, it's a very, I mean, very small percentage, probably like two, three percent that would. But if you're coming in together, that means you still feel like there's something that I need to understand or there's something I need to know or something we need to like get together. And during that process, a lot of things are revealed, a lot of feelings are expelled, and sometimes it, it brings them back together. Mm -hmm. So it just depends, you know, on her side it's low, on my side it's high if I see you. Oh. And, and I'll say this, so with that, I do notice that the couples that want to reconcile or are willing to are usually the ones who are either in counseling mm -hmm. or they've agreed that they are going to attend some sort of counseling. That's usually who's willing to reconcile yeah. after they filed. All right, we're going to take a quick break and we'll come back and discuss this 
after this commercial break. Stay Welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. It is Angela After Dark. We're talking divorce on tonight's edition of Angela After Dark. How can married couples work on returning to a good place in their relationship? Dr. Angela Jones and attorney, divorce attorney, Lenise Lewis are back for the conversation. So Dr. Jones, what is the writing on the wall? If you feel like your significant other is getting ready to put those papers in front of you from attorney Lenise Lewis. What should you look for? First, if you find her card on the counter, <laughs> right? You screwed. <screen. laughs> uh, I'm sorry. No, um, there's a lot of different signs. You know, it, it really depends. Like, a lot of women tend to withhold affection. Once you're noticing there's a lack of affection, like, oh, she's usually touchy-feely, she's mm -hmm. usually talking to me or telling me about how her day was, and there's now, like, this space in between, there's some plotting going on probably in the background. And you it know, takes work to do that. Man, it know? does. You know, to actually to shut it down. To shut down. But it, the fact that it does take work, that means that has been a buildup, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Right now, there's a lot of studies talking about how women are now higher number, like they have a higher number in the divorce, like filing for divorce than men. And it's because women have endured a lot mm -hmm. and they get to a space basically on the edge and it's like I can't take it anymore and they file so the higher the numbers are higher for like so for Eva we don't really know again we don't know what happened the fact that he's the one fighting for the marriage doesn't really indicate that he's the one that did something wrong mm -hmm. uh, but this could have been going on for years and we I know they only been married what for like five years, yeah, for five years. Um, this could have been happening for the last four mm -hmm. you know so for all we know this could have been a long time coming and we just, you know, we, we're just the peers not knowing what's going on. And, Ladies, are we always correct in assuming the one who wants to fight for the relationship either, well, I'm thinking, well, if they want to fight, they did something wrong. <laughs> well, not necessarily. That's my assumption, but you know, what do you think? Maybe sometimes people just feel like um, a divorce is a failure, right? And so they don't want to feel like their marriage has failed. So when they're fighting, they're fighting because they feel like, you know, I said I would be in this forever. But the question is whether or not you're willing to do the work. And did you make that decision before this person but checked out? But it's not about just appearances. I don't want my marriage to fail because I don't want it... I mean, to lose, I mean, is that really about it love? Would seem, is that well, it would, there's love there. So just because they've not been doing whatever it is that they were doing to, to get that person or, you know, what it would take to make the marriage work doesn't mean that the love isn't there. It's just that it's not real until my card is sitting on the <laughs> counter or you're served with that petition, you know, and then <clears throat> sometimes people want to change things. But like Dr. Jones was saying, Usually there's a buildup. It's it's been some time. This didn't just happen. No one uh -huh. just woke. Even though you don't have to have a reason to file, they didn't just wake up and decide I don't want to be married. Uh -huh. Something's been going on, some unresolved issue, and now they just they don't want to do it anymore. Right. And Dr. Jones, if someone says and and they wake up, are you being rash? Should you have that conversation with your significant other first before mm -hmm. you say, I just don't want this marriage anymore? I mean, you, Should you do all the work possible before you mentally give up? Yes, and I'm yeah. saying that more in a general sense. I, when you go to the end and you're signing those papers, you want to feel like I did all that I could do yeah. to try to work on this marriage. And I'm saying that carefully because I don't want anyone to put themselves in harm's way by trying to do everything they can do. If you feel like you're in harm's way, if you're psychologically being abused or emotionally being abused and it's just not working for you, then yes, you just need to to go. But you want to sign papers feeling like I did everything I could do to try to work on it. In the this. last 20 seconds, if you wake up every day and you're miserable. Yeah. Call me. <laughs> Call her. But I also ask yourself, how can I fill my own cup up? Your your spouse cannot be the reason why you're waking up miserable. There's something going on with you, too. Yeah. All right. Thank you both for joining us, Dr. Angela Jones and Lenise Lewis, divorce attorney. That'll do